Hello and welcome to Infinity. Local contrast can be a slightly confusing concept because it's it's not contrast, though it's related, and it's not sharpening, because that's also related. So what is it? Well, we've got an area here just to demonstrate it. This has just got noise in it, so it's randomly dark and light. This area is more like a topographic map. We've got the, like the dark at the top of the mountain and the, the light down in the valleys. And the best way to see local contrast is with a local contrast control, which you get in the tone mapping persona. To start off with, we're going to turn the tone compression down, which defaults to on, so we just go back to the original and look at what happens when I turn up local contrast. And as I turn it up and up and up and up, you see there's a very clear effect here. The light areas here, so the light areas are becoming lighter, and the dark areas here are becoming darker, but not in any very strong way uh, in terms of blacking out and so on. Whereas up here, the, the it's more just a pixel at a time because there's no relationship between individual pixels. So where you've got noise, term local contrast is just going to make it look noisier. Where you've got texture like this, it emphasizes the texture. Let's contrast that. If we go down here, we've got a contrast control. If I turn up that, the noise here is kind of disappearing. And here, there's less of an effect. It's certainly not going lighter. But there's darkness happening there. And if I turn it down, it's just going to go greyer. So you're getting a very, very different effect. You can try that again with curves. If I make this curve up here like normal S curve, similar effect here, same contrast here. It's not pushing that down as much as the actual control of local contrast does. So it does cause that texturing effect. To cancel that, you also get a local contrast when you use clarity, but not as strongly as the other one we just looked at. So here you can turn it up and there's a bit of an effect, but not as strongly, certain not within the textured area, more visible within the noise. You can also turn it down and look what happens here. This is the one control you can turn down local contrast and this within a noisy area, it's going to make the noise less stand out. So that's actually a useful thing. You can have an area which is a bit, a bit noisy, turn down the clarity and it will push that back. No edge effects here, by the way. There are other ways that we can look at it. And I'm going to look at those in another video, but let's look at a real example now. So here we've got a room and I'm going to zoom in here to this area here. And the reason for this is there's across this, there's a white wall, but there's areas of slight darkness. And if we go to the tone mapping persona, Here we've got, we turn the tone compression down because our defaults to be on, so get back to the original picture. And we turn up local contrast here, which is the one local contrast control we got. And look at what happens here. This area now is all kinds of white and grey and so on. It's really brought out the contrast, but across it there, not in specific areas. Let's look at the whole picture. And you can see compared to the down here as you turn it up kind of gets a bit grungier which is the classic HDR effect which is what this tends to be used for. Let's have a look in here we can see where we've got these flowers. If we turn this down and we turn this up you get an enhancement effect here. I'm going to cancel this out for the now and just look at this again with clarity. I'm also going to do a control J to duplicate this. And you'll see why in a moment, because I'm going to go to Live Filters and Clarity. And if I turn up the clarity here, what's happening, this is now coming. You know, there's more contrast within here. There's no actual edge effect, which is great when you try to like create this with a sharpening, you get edges, whereas this is across the whole thing. Let's go out here. So that looks kind of better as well. But if you want to sort of minimize this effect here, we can do things like 
go to this area, one layer here, because we turned that off here as the original. And we can use the blend ranges here. And I'm going to... That one doesn't work. Let's try this one. Yeah, here we go. Watch this area down here. As I pull this across, see that darkness is gradually disappearing. And this would be even more so with the tone mapping. So I could just bring this across here to reduce that. But I want to keep those up there. So I'm going to bring that up. In fact, I'll take the linear off. So I've got a nice gentle curve. So now, look at this before and after. Notice the flowers here. Before and after. It's just lit those up. Whereas without making this really look bad. So there we go. Overall local contrast. What it works, it's about the texture and the strength of the texture and increasing contrast across a textured area. But not it's not about edges, which sharpening is. And it's not as the big tilt you get with contrast. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.